disappointing uh, end to my career there because we had an exciting time building a new business for three and a half, four years. Uh, but unfortunately, the group was going through some quite difficult problems outside of securities. As you may recall, it was involved in the Guinness uh, saga. Corporate finance revenues were falling as well. So the new management under John Craven decided they could not afford to stay in the securities game with the losses that were being sustained in that business. So I think clearly from a shareholder point of view, it made a lot of sense to close the business. Um, I then decided, in fact, because I'd known the Morgan, Morgan Stanley people well when I was in New York, I went to work for Morgan Stanley and enjoyed working for Morgan Stanley for um, two and a half, three years. Uh, but unfortunately, my boss that had recruited me was fired in New York and a new boss that was taken over and him and I didn't get on terribly well. Uh, so I moved on uh, from Morgan Stanley. I, I had planned after leaving Morgan Stanley to set up a new stockbroking company uh, with Peter Quinnan, who had just left James Cope as chief executive. And Peter and I got together and spent quite a considerable time putting a business plan together and raising some finance from a Swiss private bank to set up a new stockbroking research based company in the UK. But sadly, this was in 92, or late 91, early 92. And we found that um, we couldn't recruit the people of the quality that we wanted, so we decided not to go ahead with that venture. Uh, I then moved on to work for Credit DNA Lang, which was the UK subsidiary of Credit DNA Securities, mainly because uh, a number of people who worked for me at Morgan Grenfell were working there, and I thought it was an interesting place to work. So I spent three years there running the UK sales business at Credit DNA Lang. Mm -hmm.